Okay, Broadway fans will recognize her. Andrew Lloyd Webber has called Sierra Vargas the best Christine that ever played in his show Phantom of the Opera. She also starred in The Little Mermaid on Broadway. And fans of period television dramas will recognize him. Julian Ovenden starred as Charles Blake in Downton Abbey. He can also be seen more recently in the Netflix hit Bridgerton. And now they can both be seen heard i should say together on a new album of duets it was recorded entirely during lockdown while the two were in separate cities across the pond from each other sierra bogast julian ovenden are joining us now thank you both for being here we appreciate it oh thank you so Pleasure. much for having us uh, i know you're in the same room now julian you were able to come over recently because the uk you know travelers are able to come back to the u.s once again you tweeted the other day um, that Together at a Distance, this album, started out as a microphone in a wardrobe closet. So I'm curious, from both of your perspectives, from a logistical perspective, how do you even do an album of duets from two separate cities when you're not together? Uh, it was tricky. <laughs> um, it was a labor of love, uh, but uh, it was amazing. Uh, neither of us had any kind of uh, recording, you know, kind of producing experience or engineering. So I had to use my 11-year-old son to kind of walk me through Garage Band. Um, when we, as you said, we stuck you a mic. You really in. just used Garage Band? This was just yes. you guys doing this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh my and then God. Then we stuck a mic in Sierra's massive shoe closet. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely got more shoes than I have. Um, and away we went. And it was a way of kind of, you know, kind of blowing away the pandemic blues and, um, and being creative. So how do you, I guess I'll ask you this, Sierra, how do you do a duet? Are you guys on Zoom? Are you listening to each other? Or do you record them totally separately and then just hope they sound good together? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of praying involved. Um, we, <laughs> so we record separately. Julian, at the beginning of when we started this, he would do a lot of the tracks to create the, the music that we would sing to. So we have obviously the same tempos and everything, but then usually Julian would record his vocal. He would send it to me. I would play it in my garage band, and then I would record my vocal. And we would just literally send this stuff back and forth to each other until we have a version that we think is adequate. <laughs> <laughs> it was a musical conversation over three, three and a half thousand miles. Yeah. Well, well <laughs> knowing that you just did this yourselves without a professional crew, I'm even more impressed because I listened to it and it sounds impeccable. It sounds pretty oh, darn we good. Point out, we should point out, Chris, that, that um, uh, once we did it and we released it on YouTube and stuff like that, then we were approached by one of okay. Simon Cowell's uh, producers who ah, also okay. worked with Angela Weber, and he helped us to make it sound... Um, Professional. <laughs> um, well, Something that you might want to buy. <laughs> Something you want to listen to. Uh, listen, let's talk about the album. The types of songs people can hear on the album. How did you pick them? Are these just your favorites duets? How did you uh, go about this? A lot of the, we sat down with each other, well, separately. Um, we both took a seat in separate sides of the world. And we talked about songs that we had always wanted to do. We started with songs that Julian and I have sung together live. So we already have this shorthand when we work together um, because we, we started with Stranger in Paradise. We sang that together at Royal Albert Hall. Um, so many of these numbers we had done and we wanted to have for sure recording. And then there was others that both of us just had always wanted to record with each other so that's sort of how this set list came to be um well listen we appreciate you both being here i've got just a few seconds left have you had a chance to sing on a stage in the same room yet together yes we, we sang we together we had a little rehearsal you know and uh, it was a bit weird to be honest with you but just rehearsal not in front of a crowd yet no, not yet tomorrow yet. tomorrow, 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 tomorrow is okay year. All Ten right. Days well, listen, <laughs> break a leg tomorrow night. The new album releases tomorrow. Thank you both for being here. Julian Evenden, Sierra Vargas, it's a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. All right.